good appropriate time of the day to you friends and enemies i am richard and this is lmtdetm ffr or is that with me now limited time offer no vowels how are you today i am doing fine i hope you are doing fine why is that not showing up ah i am you know had something of a tizzy this morning just because everything went wrong when I turned on OBS. For instance, my chat is completely blank. I have no idea why, but it is. Fortunately, I can see my chat other ways, so that is what I will be doing. Now, let us hope when I switch over to the game of Blackwell Unbound, which we will be finishing off, the game does not absolutely crap <laughs> the the chat on um, OBS is it's just a white box there rather than the usual box which would be filled with chat uh, thank you very much much appreciated there for running in the background while you sleep <laughs> artificially inflate those numbers however I can all right, well, let's swivel, uh, flip on over to the exciting game. Uh, and because, of course, this is an old game, I have to capture the window. There we go. So let's restore. And what have we done? We had just... We had solved the mystery of the ghost with the saxophone. But... We had not solved the mystery of the ghost who was in the apartment, or the not apartment. We just found out that the son had given them a gift, but we have no idea what the gift is. Sam's present. Yeah, he once gave his he once gave Mavis a present for Mother's Day. Um and we tried asking uh, the neighbour if she knew, but she didn't know anything about it. So, who can we talk to? We tried phoning John Durkin, and he didn't. Work. He wasn't there. We don't want to phone the Countess. She's a homeless person who we don't know who doesn't have a phone. And indeed, thank you, solved Isaac Brown, not Mavis Wilcox. Who indeed? Um, do, does it? Why would a New York reporter know about Sam's present? Well, I'm glad you can't see it, because I can't see it either, really. Let's talk to Joey briefly. Let's n Have you got anything fun to say? Let's just chat with you. You need one with an actual bedroom, or at least a bed. Oh, you got no sound. Yeah, now you will have sound. Because I am ultra smart. Alright, Joey, tell me something else about this pink thing that you didn't like that I heard you say and definitely haven't. I am so tired. I just want to relax and smoke a cigarette. Since when do you need an excuse to smoke a cigarette? Good point. There's no stones, sound, sound, but now there's saxophone. There's definitely saxophone. Saxophone. I guess we better get out there and finish this thing. After you. And we just exhausted all of the dialogue that you didn't hear it. What a disaster. I guess we better get out there and finish this thing. After you. Alright. Say goodbye, Joey. That's it for now. 
Yeah, we'll talk more later. Now, now that I've said goodbye, you must come with me everywhere because you can't do anything else. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. So let's go to where I, the New Yorker. Yeah, because that's the only other place we've got to talk to people. And you might know something yes. about Sam. I don't know why. Maybe you were showing it off? Maybe this was showing it off to you? Come in, have a seat. Open your notebook and ask about... Well, let's ask about the father. Do you know first anything all. about John Durkin, Mavis's ex-husband? Oh yeah, she did talk about him. Broke her heart, she said. I know they divorced very early in the marriage, and he died several years later. But I'm afraid I know nothing else. Wait, so if he... He... Did Sam stayed with John? The son stayed with the father. But then... John died. So where did Sam go? Because Sam didn't live with his mother. Did the state, did the state just say, ah, we're going to let you live on your own? Did you stay with the Countess? Probably Do you know not. anything about Sam, Mavis' son? I'm afraid not. Mavis discussed her son and seemed proud of him, but I don't think they see each other. I've never met the boy myself. Exactly. See, what's going on? Checks on my phone. Did Mavis ever mention a gift or present from her son? Now that you mention it, yes. She showed me a leather-bound edition of Alice in Wonderland and said it was from her son. Alice in Wonderland? Yes, by Lewis Carroll. Yeah, I've heard of it. Okay. wonder why it was Alice in Wonderland. According to Joseph Mitchell, Sam gave his mother a copy of Alice in Wonderland for mothers. I mean, why, why would that have an ending to the sentence? You wouldn't possibly need that. All right, thanks very much, person. I think that's person. all for now. All right, you have a good night now. So we want to go to 53rd and Lex and talk to the ghost again and pretend to be your son, I guess. All right, Joey, we need to switch to you. Ghostly goings on, and then go through the gate. I'm going in again. You know what to do. Yeah, yeah. I'll wait here. Yes, stand right there and do nothing. And then, talk to Ghost. Hey, kid. Knock on the gate again. My. I'm popular today. No, oh, you're not. Oh, Sam. Hi, Mom. So, yeah, we already tricked you into believing you were the son. Or oh, I was your son, Joey. So, um, let's ask him about the present? I don't know. Hey, Mom. Do you have that present I gave you? Which present was that? Aha! Ah, so it would have been a question-y thing. So I didn't do it last time. Let's ask about a snazzy hat. Um, the hat? A hat. Sam, have you ever known me to wear a hat? No, no, sorry, sorry. I mean, not since you've been dead. About that present. That's the whole time I've Which known you. Which present was that, Sam? Alright, let's ask you about the book. No, let's ask about flowers um, first of all. The and then. Flowers? You never gave me flowers, Sam. No one has given me flowers in 20 years. Ah, uh, sorry. That is horrible. That is not About that nice present. to know. Which present was that, Sam? Our flowers. The book. Alice in Wonderland. How did you live? Of course I still have it. It was the only Mother's Day gift you ever bought me, Sam. Can I see it? Whatever That's horrible. for. Come on, Ma. I just want to see it. Sure, Sam. It's right on the table. Great. Uh, why don't you bring it out here? You mean, pick it up? Yeah, pick it up and bring it over. Pick it up. Sure, sure. I can I pick it up. it up. Oh! Oh no! What? The book, it's gone! Gone, huh? Imagine that. Where's the Somebody table as well? It. Sam, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm, I'm so, so, so sorry. 
question her mothering ability. Tell her she's dead, comfort her. Tell her she's dead. You know you're dead, right? That's why you don't have a book. The dead can't read. If you take nothing else away from this stream, it's that. You can't pick up the book because it's not there. Sam? The book's not there, and neither is the table, right? What? Think! The book's gone, the table's gone, the whole room is gone. Sam, Sam you're, you're awful. awful. I'm upset, upset and I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Don't, Don't make, make it, it worse, worse please. please. Oh. Well, I mean, if I was an empathetic person, I would try to comfort her and say, Hey, I'm s it's alright that you don't have the book. Blah, 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 blah. But Joey's not that kind of person, and I don't think that will get her to break out of her reality. So I guess I'm going to question her mothering ability. You need to find that book, Mom. I don't know if I can love a mother who loses my gift. Oh, wow. I don't mean that. Yeah, that was harsh. I mean it, Mom. You need to tell me where the book is. But I don't know where to look. Oh, yes, out in the hallway, because then you'll have to come outside and we can snap you with the tie so that you enter my head and we get you to pass Maybe on. it's out here, Mom. In the hallway? Sure, in the hallway. Yeah, I'm sure it's out here. Come on out and help me look. Oh, okay, Sam. But only for you. I... I still don't see it anywhere. Let's try further down, Mom. That's not where you came through. There we go. I'm... I'm outside. Yeah, I knew you could do it, Mom. Mom? Sam? Sam, Sam where, where are, are we? we? I'm, I'm scared. scared. I'm right here. Mom, I need you to do something. What? Turn around. I can't. Sure you can. Just turn around and look behind you. There's no building. Uh, where's the building? Where's my apartment? Where's my home? It's gone! Those bastards, they tore it down! You. You made me leave, and they tore it down! Hey, calm down. I've got nothing now. Mom. I am not your mother. You are not my son. My son hates me. All I had left was my home. And then... Then I... Oh, God. And I was strangled. By the Countess woman. Dun dun dun. Are you happy now? You couldn't just leave me there. <laughs> oh, you had dear. to bring me out. You had to make me remember. I'm sorry. It's horrible. Being dead, it's horrible. You get used to it. I I don't want to feel like this anymore. Everything is so dark and cold. Can I go home now? Sure. Sure, I can take you home. Just hold on to this. Hold on to my tie. Over to you, kid. Right. And let me grab the tie and smash you into my head. Which doesn't really work as an animation when Joey's standing right on top of me. Oh my god. Nevis? It's so bright and big. It just goes on forever. I just want to go home. Please, can I go home? I think that's the only home you've got now. I'm sorry. What a legacy. Husband gone and dead. My son hates my guts. My home is gone. My life, over. I remember that too. Dying, I mean. That old woman choking me. Old woman? She just came in and killed me. She said she was going to help me. Uh, well, what now? The light, Mavis. Just head towards it. And then? I don't know. I'm scared, but... It feels right somehow. Oh, John. Sam. I'm so sorry. For everything. I wish I could feel sorry for you. But I don't feel much of anything anymore. Best of luck, wherever you are. Oh. Well, there we go. That was... Deep feelings. Or lack of deep feelings, even. You alright? Yeah, fine. I'm exhausted. Call it a night? Sounds good to me. 
Oh no! I can't test her again. You saved her! Again. Yeah, sure we did. No thanks to you. We've got some questions for you, lady. Why did you kill Isaac and Mavis? I didn't kill them! I'm like you! You're nothing like us. We don't kill. <laughs> Let me get I within arm's length of the strangling the woman. World, like you. You mean you're a medium? Yes. But you can't be. I am like you. Wait, no. This doesn't make any sense. Why are you killing people? I save people. I don't hurt them. Get back here, stupid old hag. Let's get after her. We're gonna lose her again, are we? Because that's what happened last time. She was a spry old lady. God damn it. Your nose okay? That lamppost should not have been there. Ah, so now you're gonna smoke out on the balcony, so we need to change to be Joey to insult you back into coming here. But before that, you have started playing Control. Control is an awesome game. I thoroughly enjoy it. Uh, but you keep dying on the combat. Uh, oh well. That is a shame. Control is one of the games I would like to play by controller, but I need the precision aiming for the mouse. And there are just so many different powers to bring up all at once with the uh, keyboard. So, I got a long way in, but I'm still I'm not using the powers as much as I could do to make the combats easier. But I'm playing on normal. And you know, I'm taking a lot of cover. So that is the thing. It's a decent enough story as well. And I'll be interested to see what they do with the multiplayer aspect. Which they are making. They're making a control 2 and a multiplayer version of control. How that works, oh kind of like a Left 4 Dead or, you know, horde based shootery type thing with them. I don't think a PvP aspect would be particularly fun. Or it might be fun, but it wouldn't be fun for me anyway. And Lauren, she grabs hold of the incorporeal tie because she's a medium and that is the one part of Joey that she can touch. As was established with the, per the heroine of the first one, whose name I cannot recall. Alright, can you use the telemaphone? I can't use the phone. I can't touch the thing. That doesn't mean... Well, I guess it does mean you can't do anything. Sit on the couch instead. No, I'm not doing that again. The kid can find her own damn loose change. Oh, what about the rainy jade jar? What have you got to say now? It's empty. What do you want me to do? Scare it? I want you to comment on the fact that she spent 60 of her dollars on saving a spirit. Say that she did good, kid. Say that exact phrase, you old-timey ghost hack person. I don't think it's ever been established, or at least not so far in the series, why it's Joey who is the ties to uh, the Blackwell family. I expect that is something we will learn throughout the series. Yes, she's definitely a medium and not an easy, or a hard, or a large or a small. She's also not... I was going to say she's also not an extra large, but, you know... I don't know. That doesn't feel right somehow to say that. All right, Lauren, let's insult you and get back out there. I'm so confused, Joey. I feel like the answer is on the tip of my tongue. I just can't figure it out. Well, nope. let's check. That tingling you feel on the tip of Brain your tongue story. is the ash from the cigarette. Maybe we'll come up with something. All right. Is the Countess your future? I think that is the most important question to ask. Is she my future? What do you mean? That woman, the Countess, or whatever she's called. Is that what happens to mediums when they get old? I... I don't know, darling. I really don't. But I won't let that happen to you. You have my word on that. Well, she doesn't have a ghost with her. So did she go... Did her ghost leave her or pass on and then she went crazy trying to do it because she didn't know how to function in society anymore? What 
what an interesting thing that would be to know. Alright, here's the Countess. The Countess is a medium. She's a medium like me. It makes no sense. It does make sense, actually. She's not an animal or another ghost. The only way she could see me is if she was a medium like you. Actually, you shouldn't know she's not a ghost of an animal inhabiting a human, huh? They would be able to see everybody. Oh look, her spirit guide. Yep, why would a medium kill? Why would a medium kill? Maybe she doesn't think of it as killing. Yeah. She did say she helped people. It's only supersizes that kill. By killing them? Maybe she felt they were better off dead? I don't think so. Mavis and Isaac were sad mixed up people. But they didn't deserve to die. Maybe she thinks otherwise. Alright, well, tell us all about her spirit guide. If she's a medium, where is her spirit guide? You know, I wondered that myself. I'm your connection to the I spirit world. I also wondered that. The Countess, or whoever she is, doesn't have me, that. Me, sir. Pick on or me. At least I know the answer. See. Is it possible to be a medium without a guide? I don't think so, sweetheart. That's one thing I'm sure of. Medium and guide. That's how it works. How do you know, Joey? Because you haven't... You have only, well, let's see, the 30s. I think your first one was Blackwell Grandmother. Then your second medium was Lauren here, and then your third one was the protagonist in the first game. So how do you know? Did you get a manual that you're not telling us about? What could have happened to her spirit guide? Yeah, tell us. I don't know. I thought you couldn't leave my side. I know. Either her spirit guide managed to escape, or... Or what? Or it was killed. Is that possible? Possible. I don't know. I don't think I want to know. What could her connection be? I mean, haven't you just figured that out? So what could her connection be? Dunno. Something has to connect her to the spirit world. It's not another ghost or we would see it. So, it must be something else. Something that has a connection to everything we've seen. Or someone. Yeah, that's it. Ooh. The Countess connects these two cases. There has to be something or someone else that has the same connection. Oh, yes. It's obviously... Joseph Mitchell, the... newspaper guy. Because he was at both places. But... really sure I understand why. I mean, I understand why he's connected, but I don't understand what he's got going on here. What's his motivation? Is he trying to... He, I mean, he, ne he shelved the pieces that he wrote. So it's not as if he's killing them to get more circulation to his New Yorker newspaper. Is he a psychopath who is using the Countess as the murder weapon? That doesn't seem likely. Joseph Mitchell? Bingo! The reporter? How could he have this kind of power? I don't know how he got the power, but it all fits. He wrote about both Mavis and Isaac, and the Countess killed both of them. He seems like the best candidate. But it doesn't make any sense. Exactly. Think about yeah, it. it. You're a medium. What is it that mediums do? <laughs> they deal with Joey. Listen to misogynistic ghosts all day. Ha ha. Look, I'm trying to be serious for once. They free spirits. Which is, you know, quite useful when you go to a bar. Free spirits! Woo! We help spirits into the next world. Exactly. A medium needs a guide. Hers is gone. Somehow Mitchell fills in the gap. Our Countess is being told through Mitchell's writing to help certain spirits into the next world. It's not her fault they're still alive. You mean... I think you get the picture. Oh god, that's sick. It makes sense though. How is this oh, possible? It doesn't make sense because... There's only one way to find out. It's time we paid our friend Mitchell one more visit. It doesn't make sense because... Mitchell doesn't write the articles, they get shelved. Or, hmm, at least that is what he has told us. Alright, let's switch back to Lauren then. See if we've got anything exciting here that we... No, there's our case list. Well, let's look at our case list and see what you say about possible case number two. Nothing? Oh, is that because I've got the 
there we go. Both cases are done. We're so close to calling it a night. Man, this is a long night if you've got time to walk to all of these other places. Multiple times. Alright, well I've still got my lit cigarette. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. She didn't even bother to stub out the cigarette. She just threw it down onto her own welcome mat. Your place is going to burn down now. Oh no. Where could the connection be? Where could we possibly have to travel to next? Indeed, cheaper twice the price. Ah, uh, maybe it's a New Yorker. Maybe it's the moon. Can we go to the moon? No. I mean, that's disappointing. I tried that last time. I'd really like to go there. There might be ghosts on the moon. Well, there's probably not ghosts on the moon. Yes. Nobody's died on the moon, so far as we know. Also, there are no birds Miss on Blackwell. the moon. Hello again, Mr. Mitchell. Is that a coincidence? I was just about to head home. Oh, I'll just be a second. Well, if you insist, do have no a seat. No birds on any other planet, and Thanks, they have been. Thanks, I'd rather stand. Go on, let him have it. No. Mind if I smoke? Well, actually, deaths Thanks. on other planets either. So it's obviously birds that are causing death. Miss Blackwell, death. my patience is wearing thin. My family is waiting for me. Tell me. You don't have what a family. Ask about your writing. Tell me about why you do the writing of the. You finished your writing for the day, Mr. Mitchell? Yes, yes, I have. And now I'm going home. He's full of hot air. The page is blank. Oh. Good observation, Joey. I couldn't tell that with this pixely art. You haven't written anything today, have you? Why do you say that? The paper is blank. What? How do you know that? I have exceptional eyesight. There's dust. Don't forget the dust. And there's dust on the typewriter. Well, can't contradict you there. So? So, I don't think that's any of your business, Miss Blackwell. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, well, looks like I have to talk about the connection. So, how do you connect up these people? Are you a medium? Mr. Mitchell, two people are dead. So I gathered. You wrote about both of them. Yes, I did. You don't find anything suspicious about that. I've written about hundreds of people over 30 years. The fact that two of them happen to be dead does not surprise me. Indeed. It's just a coincidence. Funny thing about my life, Mr. Mitchell? If something looks like a coincidence, it normally isn't. Well, I hate to disappoint you. Ooh, look at the sweat on this guy's brow. If he ain't lying, I'm dying. So to speak. I'm just gonna say, you're already dead. So the only option is to click the call his bluff icon. There's no other thing I can do? Why is this you an indirect draw point? Liar. And you are poking your nose into things you don't understand. I'm You'd a medium. You'd be surprised at what I understand, Mr. Mitchell. I have a ghost right Try here. Me. Who are you, anyway? You come in, out of the blue, and bring up all this. All of what? I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I write about people and they die. Can you understand that, can you? My whole life I've been driven to write about people. Now I kill them instead. But you don't publish the story, or at least you haven't, you've told us that you haven't published the stories you've written. So... Are you lying to me about that, or did that actually happen? Let's tell you about the Countess, because you kind of went all weird when I talked about the Countess before. You've done nothing wrong. There's a woman called the Countess. She kills whoever you write about. A Countess? Killing people that I write about. That's a tall story. And that's a lot to take in. Why would she do something like that? How did this happen? Probably because of your connection to humanity. I don't know. You said probably. So you're not sure? Not as such, no. Well then. I appreciate you trying, but I'd prefer if you left well enough alone. No. Wow. I mean, you're going to have to write about me, right? I don't think you want to be a hero. I think you do want to write again. I don't think threatening the police action will be very useful. And you're not really interested in my help. 
Telling him you can't leave it alone, picking away at it like a reporter picks away at a story, might be useful as well. Lauren does not strike me as the encouraging person. But I'm interested in why you think this is happening. Please tell us. Why is this happening? I think it's a penance of some kind. I've shared the intimate details of people's lives with the world. Perhaps I revealed one secret too many. I don't think about it anymore. I just come to work like nothing's wrong. Everyone's been very polite so far, but I'm sure the ball will drop someday. Alright, well, let's tell you you can write again now. If we get this sorted out. Don't you want to write again? Oh yes. But people are safe as long as I don't write about anything real. I've always wanted to try a hand at fiction. Had a story in my head for years. I'll probably give it a whirl, see how it goes. But no more deaths. Not on my watch. It's not your watch I'm worried about. It's your hat, up there on top of the filing cabinet. What if they die on your hat? Alright, I cannot leave it alone. I'm going to keep investigating this and finding out how many people have died who you have written about. I can't leave it alone, Mr. Mitchell. Oh, rest assured you can. You seem like a capable young lady, and I'm sure you think you know what's what. But I don't want any more deaths on my conscience. Laura, right, we're gonna offer to help because I'm trying to I help hope you. I don't have and to go I down all of these. It. People die when I write, so I don't write. The problem solved. No, it isn't because now you are gonna be um words. Now you are going to be kicked out of your place because you don't have an income, right? He didn't ask for this. Well, he hasn't got any cybernetic eyes or arms or anything. Also, the saves don't appear to be getting corrupted on this one, so, you know, that is a step up. Um, you could be a hero. You don't want to be a hero. You just want to fade don't into the background, but anyway. There's a killer out there. Who only kills people I write about. So I stop writing about people. Problem solved. Write about me. Or write about fictional people make things up. See what happens then. Does the spirit go insane? Or the Countess? Who knows. Alright. I'm going to offer words of encouragement and then immediately threaten you afterwards when you don't respond to them. You're not a murderer, Mr. Mitchell. No, I'm not. Five years back, I tried to write about a man. An old man in a bar. He was killed the next day, choked to death. I didn't think anything of it at the time. Then I wrote about another man, Mr. Isaac Brown, you know him. He died the same way. Still figured it was just a coincidence, but then it happened with Mavis Wilcox. For the third time in a row! No, I didn't kill them. Not on purpose. But if I wrote a fourth time, that would be murder. Plain and simple. I mean, yes, he just said he was thinking of writing fiction. All right, going through all you of the options. You won't help me. I'll have to go to the police. Oh, and tell them what? All those deaths, all killed the same way. So soon after you met them, and they'll I'm look sure hard at you. In that information. Is this that is right? the seventies well, in New York. I'd be careful if I were they'll you. They'll beat you to careful? death. I'm not without defenses, if you know what I mean. Is that a threat? Are you threatening to write about me? I didn't say anything. Well, I mean. Yes, but, I mean, this is not how I wanted the confrontation, but anyway. You know what? Go right ahead. What do you mean? You want to write so bad? Write about me. Dust off that typewriter and get to work. Knock yourself out. Listen, I spoke out of turn. I didn't honestly mean... Hell with that. Just do it. Hey, this is dangerous. I know what I'm doing. I can't do it. Like hell you can't. You've been writing for how long? 30 years? More? I know you can do it. I want to meet this thing head-on. It's the only way. Do it! You don't know what you're asking. What's the worst that could happen? You could die. Oh. Is I'm dead all? inside already. Oh. Quiet. Look at the cancer sticks that I'm smoking. Right. Look how I didn't I sit down in that it. chair that I'm was right here. next to me. My mother's name was Patricia. My father... You getting this stuff down? 
Dun dun dun. Well, I hope you're happy. I'm never happy. You're only happy when it rains. Well, your apartment didn't burn down, so that's a, a good start. Alright, switching back over to Joey then, to see what we can do. Do you want to look at the TV? Not much I can do with that. Do you want to look at the candle in the bottle? Not much I can do with that. Oh, I didn't think so. I think the only thing that you want me to do is you click on Tackiest Lauren. thing I ever saw. Really? Why is a candle in a bottle particularly tacky? But alright. Hey, Lauren. She's in one of her sulky moods. I'm gonna talk to you. I'm still wearing those okay. clothes that you got covered in slime in. Let's talk about teamwork! The real friends were... No, the real treasure were the friends you made along all the way. We're supposed to be a team. You can't make this kind of decision without asking me first. Yeah, but you, Joey. If this broad's a medium like me, then I have some questions for her. If I'm gonna end up like that, I wanna know. And if she kills you for your trouble? Well, then I won't have to worry. Did they? You wrote about her. Did you mention her brother? Is, I mean, I speculated this wildly in the last stream, that this is how your brother and her wife died. That would be a horrible tragedy thing to have happen here. I mean, it would explain why you stopped being a medium. What happens to that would me? Be darker than I die, expected from this game. You'll move on to whoever's next. That's how it works, doesn't it? It's not about that. Maybe you'll end up with my baby brother. I'm sure you guys will get along great. Yeah, great. When do you think she'll get here? I don't know. I feel her coming, though. She knows who I am. How can you feel that? I just do. She was right. She's like me. Maybe mediums call out to each other. Oh, all right. How do we deal so, with the Countess? Any thought on how to handle her? Nope, not a one. I just want to talk to her. Well, she can see and hear me, so I can help. You're not alone. Yeah. You understand? You're not alone. I'm tired, Joey. I'm so tired. All right, I'll just leave you to it. Yeah. She's here. So polite of her to knock. Well, she doesn't know. She can't kick in the door. Can you go through the door now? This is her bed. She can lie in it. Oh, come off it. I mean, going outside and talking to her and causing her to be, you know, at least crazy person talking in the corridor. Somebody might take note of that and then go, hey, I remember crazy person in the corridor corridor shortly before Lauren died. I wonder if I should tell the police about that. Uh, oh, no, I don't want Joey, you're standing in the way. I want to look at the rainy day jar. Since we've emptied that, I don't know what the line is. Lauren's rainy day fund, zero dollars. Hmm. Oh, if that's all you're going to say. Just one moment, Countess. I'm coming to the door very slowly. I have a bottle. I have a uh, candle in a bottle that I wish to hit you over the head with while you try to strangle what I need me. A candle for? I don't know, actually. You've got a lighter. Oh, hey! Are we gonna Who do a seance? a candlestick when a cola bottle works just as well? Are we gonna do a uh, seance here and try to call up the spirit of medium? I'm not carrying that around. That might be a thing. And again, I, not stunning. I know you. Yes, you know me. Come in. No strangling. This I'm is watching what... you. So, what's your story? 
I want to help you. Help me, huh? You're in pain? Lost? I can help. <sighs> yeah, let's start with Mitchell. You're bonded with Joseph Mitchell. Is that his name? The guide who is not a guide? Yes, the non-guide. He speaks to the world. He spoke to me. He tells me what to do. Oh, he is so often silent. It's been years since I heard his voice. But tonight, I heard him. He told me to help you. He didn't tell you that. Why else would I be here? I... I'm here to help you. You're here to kill me. No! I don't kill! I will set you free! Hey, watch it, lady. If he hasn't been writing for years... For years... How does he still have a job at the New Yorker? Or... Does the New Yorker just not employ people properly as it's such a small newspaper and you know they only get paid for when they put stuff out so they've just given him an office at the back and he just sits there doing nothing all day all right let's ask who are you now that I know who you I've said I know who you are who are you I am the countess do you have a guide the spirit guide I still feel her she is gone, but not completely gone. What do you mean? Kid, her mind is snapped. She's not gonna make any sense. Yes, she snapped my mind. She went away and my world expanded. I see everything. Everything! It hurts! Alright. Uh oh, well we missed out on a question there. So who was your spirit guide? Who was your spirit guide? She had a name. I no longer know. I wish I knew. I cannot think. Not without her. Why did she leave? Why? Because you were crazy and started killing people, maybe? Maybe not. It could be an editor. You're right. I thought he was just a reporter, but you're right, he could be an editor. Hmm. Alright, where is your spirit guide? Now, let's ask about her early life. I don't really care where your spirit guide is. We know that Were they're you gone. you like me before your spirit guide went away? Like you? You know, sane. Joey. Shut up, Joey. I was happy. I was smaller. Saw the world in muted colors. And there was music. Sweet music. We helped people. It felt good. Now she is gone. Now I help people, but it feels bad. Alright, let's ask where we the your spirit guide is before we ask the big question. I don't know what the big question is in this instance. Unless it's, are you going to kill me? I mean, and you have a cigarette end there that you can stab into her eye, causing her great pain. Where is your spirit guide now? I don't know. Her voice is gone. I'm lost. I found that other voice, but he is so quiet. You mean Mitchell? The true guide. She is gone. Gone. How did she go away? I don't know. She found a way. Why did she do that? Why can't we ask about her early life again? And why am I definitely Were clicking you like on that? like me before your spirit guide went away? Oh, it's the Thank same thing. You. you know. Joey. I was, I was, saw the world, and there we helped. Now she, now I. Will I become like you? This is different. Please tell me. That's all I want to know. You, you are loved. Loved? Loved by who? You are in pain, my child. Let me help you. Oh, I'd like to help you instead. I mean, I know I don't do that often. I'd like to help to help you real instead. people help or me? live people. I need no help. You need to be free. Hey, hey! Let her go, you old witch! Damn it! I can't do anything. Fight her, Lauren. Fight back. You have the fight cigarette back, in your hand. You. All right, okay. You know, I'm gonna save it here. 
Uh, ah, this is not a busted situation. You are dead on arrival. So, yeah, I guess I'm using the lit cigarette. Look, it's in my inventory, even. I wonder if you can die in this far. There we go, that's exactly what I said would happen. It's All awesome. Right. That's what happens when you mess with us. Stay away from her. No, she needs my help! Hey, you want to help someone? Why don't you help me? You want to free a spirit? Well, I'm the real McCoy. Oh. You? Could yeah, she be right. inside you? Me. I'm right here. I... Oh, are you going to lead her out I, on the balcony? I'm supposed to help her. What if I walk over here? Are you coming? I'm waiting. I'll save you. Ah, this is a come I'm forward. I'm in pain. What are you gonna do about it? I can help you. Yeah, here we go. I'm gonna fly over the edge of the balcony, and you're gonna plummet to your death. Your prime. I don't think you can handle it. You. Come on, then. Make with the saving. You need me. Do, 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 do. Why do you move so far? Oh. You don't need help. Her. She needs my help. No, hey. no, 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 no. I'm right here. Don't. I need help. Help? All right. I pressed too far, so we're gonna go back Come over on, this again. Come on, take me to the place with the bright light. I can help you. You're so good at helping. Let's see you help me. I will set you free! I'd well, be interested to find out what sort of thing she says when you try to use the dictaphone oh, on her during me. the fight. I'm in so much torment. Save me, damn you! Are hey. you hurting? What are you waiting for? Come on! Oh, shh! I will help you! Alright. What? No! The connection is gone! What? I cannot save you, I was... but I can still save her! I was talking hey. to you and clicking on you. I said, All hey! Right, let's do it I again. need help! Help? Yeah. Once Come again. On, you old bat, save me! Your hurt will end soon. I'm waiting. I'll save you. Good. I'm in pain. What are you gonna do about it? I can help you. What? No. You're past your prime. I don't think you can handle it. You. I'm sure I was clicking on Countess and not Couch. There. Back a bit. Why do you? No. So oh, gee. You don't what? Need help. Her. All right. Okay. She needs my help. Hey. <sighs> So I will do it while standing on the balcony, because I need help. Help? It's so Come frustrating. On, make with the saving. You need me? Come on, take me to the place with the bright light. I can help you. You're so good at helping. Let's see you help me. I will set you free. Oh, woe is me. I'm in so much torment. Save me, damn you! Are you... hurting? Alright. What are you waiting for? Come on! Oh, shh! I will help you! I... The bond! It's gone! I can't reach you! Her. There is still time to save her! Hey. Well, that is frustrating. Hey! If anyone needs saving, it's me. You need to be saved? Alright, so I'm just Come gonna on, click on you it. old bat, save me! Your hurt will end soon. I... Right. I can't save so you. So have to be slightly far away. told me to save her! Oh no you don't. You leave her alone. It's me you want. I do? Yes. This is frustrating. I'm waiting. 
I'll save you. Maybe I'm going at the puzzle wrong. Maybe instead of going over I'm the edge of the balcony, I need to go up. It? I can help you. But you're past your prime. I don't think you can handle it. You. I have to go here. Now you can come here. Come on, then make with the saving. You need me. Uh. All right. No, not up. If I move here. Come on, take me to the place with the bright light. I can help you. Well, come on. What are you waiting for? I... I want to help you. Why won't you let me help you? I'm right here, ready for the helping. Uh, Joey? Right, here we are. Now you're awake. Just push her over the edge. I'm sorry. I can't look, is she... Yeah. There's no... No ghost. She's gone. Gone. I killed her. It was either her or you, darling. You made the right choice. Did I? What if, what if that's me one day, huh? What if I'm old and confused and alone? You won't be alone. I'll make sure of that. You say that now. <laughs> because I, I will her. strangle you. Her guide was gone. I can't speak for the future, kid. Maybe someday we'll meet someone like her, and then maybe we'll find out more. But right here, right now, I'm here. <laughs> the name of the achievement is put. medium well That's done. something, isn't it? Uh, isn't it? Yeah, it's something. This is a bad idea. You're going to call Jack, are you? You don't need to do this. Hello? Hi, Jack? Lauren, sis, is that you? Yeah, Jack. It's me. Where have you been? It's not important. I miss you. Tell me about your life, Jack. How's Maria? When's the wedding? This is a really bad idea. Why? Why? Why is it a really bad idea? When the sun sits quietly o'er the sea When the stars shine on a sad old memory That's when solitude begins Copyright strike for this? Who knows? Or muted, maybe. Let's find out at the end, eh? That'll be fun. Not so many questions brought up there. Where did the spirit guide go? Is that what will happen at the end? I mean, it wasn't. Was that the same person who voiced the other protagonist? I can't remember. That was the same person who voiced Joey. Yeah, you've gone far up. He does a lot of stuff for the Watch It Eye games. I didn't realise those two were the same voice actor. But hey, there we go. I'm gonna find someone who needs me. Someone like Oh, there was no picture of Sam. That is why it said to. But, All right, but, you know. but there's a picture of a phone there. Wait, Joseph Mitchell. All oh, right, phone and. You couldn't have done the phone for Sam as well. Nothing else huh? but me. That's Nobody, nobody is being specially thanked. Oh no. That 
names just took a while to come up. That's a shame. You've spoiled my joke by actually coming up. When the sun sits Ah, uh, coffee. Once quietly o'er the sea When the stars shine On a sad old memory That Why do you need the song to start again? It's going to come real ugly. Alright, well. Now we can put in the special activation code and look at the things. During this game, Lauren smoked 41 cigarettes and Joe was hit seven times by Isaac's ex -word. Well, not getting there under 20 or over 100 then. Because that's how numbers work. Wait, no, I was going to say. Oh, okay. So they're unlocked. And oh, you can see Unbound art as well. Alright, well, let's have a quick look. Wait, I thought this was Unbound. No, wait, this is Unbound, and Convergence is the next one. Why would we have concept art for Convergence? I guess there's a tease for the other one. Yeah. Oh wow, that's great art. That is better art than I can produce, however. So there we go. A headless Joey. Very thin and bony and obviously evil. Oh, Lauren wore pants, did she? So she had pockets. Um, I don't think she's either of those things. I think she looks sick or pregnant. She might be tired because of the bags or the, the black eyes that she has there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's what you look like, is it? Wow, that's good. Before you fill it in. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't include the bartender, otherwise I would have tried to speak to the bartender repeatedly and he would have gone, uh, 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 and not answered me. I mean, she did look small compared to Sam anyway. Alright, there we go, oh, and then we can close up here. Exit. Solitude. Be quiet. Extra music tracks. And Aaron Robert speaks artist commentary. Well, we can get all of this. I want to quit. Oh, that actually quit quits. Well, there we go. Now you can see all the exciting things that are going to happen behind the scenes. Well, I type in convergence and update the thing. And then I'm going to do that. But now I have to switch over because this. For some reason, as I said earlier, I'm frustrated with it because it is not working quite properly as it should do. Right, so... <laughs> Continues to look at thing. Yeah, well, that'll do. Alright, so let us hop right on in to the Black World Convergence and put on our next exciting point and click game in the series. And now we're back with the original protagonist. Look, look at those graphics updates. You're not going to give us a year, you're just going to tell us it's 5.30pm. Oh my god, Smilex! That's the Joker's thing from uh, the original from. Hello. 
Anybody the best there? Batman film. You're really expecting an answer. I was just checking. Well, you checked. Now open the door and let's see what's in there. A tutorial is available. Would you like to activate it? Yeah, go on. Let's have the tutorial just in case it's any different. And if not, we'll get sucky sort of stuff instead. Welcome to the tutorial for the Blackwell Convergence. Right now, you are controlling Rosangela Blackwell. That was her name. Tutorial. Where is she? She's on the other side of that door. Let's try and get her inside. To interact with the world, click the left mouse button. Try clicking on a few things, and then when you're ready, left click on the door. I can't see anything in there. 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 Oh, well, that's a shame. Oh, but I can look at this newspaper. But let's not sequence break. Though. Joey, the door is locked. Right, I interact with the door, but it's locked. Things are never easy, are they? Yeah, I can see that. Looks like it's up to me. Right, I can't go through the door, but Joey's a ghost and can slip through easily. You can switch between characters by clicking the buttons on the main interface. To activate the interface, move your mouse to the cursor to the top of the screen. Ah, apparently just drop down his main interface. From here you can access Los Angeles Notebook, Los Angeles Inventory, and various game options. Right now we're mainly interested in the buttons labeled J and R. The buttons that you switch between Joey and Rosangela. Currently you are controlling Rosangela. Click on the J button to switch control over to Joey. Switch to Joey. Switch to Rosa. Joey. Excellent. Now we're controlling Joey. And also switch characters by pressing the tab key. Let's see if Joey has better luck with a door. Left click on the door to make Joey interact with it. All right, Joey. Interact I can't with the cupboard. See anything besides this door? Oh well. I can't see anything besides this door. How are your lapels hanging over the uh, speech bubble that you've got? Well, not speech bubble. I can't see panel, anything besides this door. I did click on the door. Ooh, look hmm, at that. Charming. Graphical well, effects, awesome. What do you see? Nothing. Yet. I'll see if there's a way to open that Man, door. I like that sound cue. That's nice. Awesome! Joey made it through. Unfortunately, Rosangela is still stuck. In addition to interacting with objects, you can look at an object as well. Right click on objects to get a description of them. Help Joey find a way to open the door by looking around the room. And look for someone wing their glints. No, oh, that little thing there. It must be the key on the floor. It's the way out of here. Is it? There's a lot of dust covering those sheets. Can't say much for the decor. Looking out the window. Half the city would kill for a view like this. Maybe somebody did. I was going to say, half the city probably did. Ooh, desk drawers. Just some desk drawers. Stick your head in them to find out what's Just in them. Just some desk drawers. I can't open the drawers, I can't touch them. Oh, look at this. Boy, if I could touch it, that would sure be great. I was just going to say, hey, individual things for the stuff that's going on, but no. I'm not floating out in the rain unless I have to. Why? I can't touch him. You can't get wet. Don't know what I could do with it. I can't open the door for her. Maybe there's another way. I think the way is to switch back to... Rosa. The door is locked. I can't get through. No, your lapels go through. And... The door is locked. I can't your... get through. Is that clavicle? As well. Alright. Alright, let's look at the shiny object. I should probably take a closer look before messing with it. No, just mess with it immediately. Looks like a paper clip. Maybe this paper clip can help. How? Joe has one ghostly power at his disposal. He can generate a light breeze. Left click on the paperclip to make him interact with it. I think I would have to bre to blow pretty hard in order to move a paperclip. If it's one of those all metal paperclips, I guess. If it's a and as it's shiny. Hey Dolphins, I, guess I... I got a present for you. Joey, a paperclip just blew past my shoe. It's all yours, darling. What do I do with this? Pick the lock. opening the door with it. Does that actually work? Sure, why not? 
Miss Angela now has a paper clip in her inventory. How can she use it to get through the door? Wish the Rose Angela to learn how to use inventory items. Oh, is the is the uh, key in the door? Is that what we're doing? Are we doing that puzzle? Do, 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 do. Now controlling Rose Angela again, even if you can't see her. Since the main interface is open, we can see her inventory. And look, there's our paper clip. I'll try to use it on that door. Left click, paper clip, left click, door. It's a paper clip. Ah, okay. Well, let's look at this. 2007, you say. March 15, 2007. Mostly cloudy. Storms. Campaign Jinx by Jeremy Sams. City Commissioner hopeful Alex Silva announced a home base change yesterday after renovations of the new campaign headquarters at 354 West 80th failed to go as planned. The decision comes after months of difficulty. Three construction contractors hired to do the renovations have all left the job without warning. None of the contractors could be reached for comment that Sylvia's critics have joked that the campaign is jinxed before it even begun. I'm disappointed that this is the City Post and not the New Yorker. Because Rosangela even worked for the New Yorker. Alright. Joey might be a blowhard. <laughs> Indeed. Nothing I can click on here. Alright. Yeah, we know why we're here now, at least. Because we're investigating the thing that's going on. I have no idea how to do this. Just keep trying, darling. It's an old door. It shouldn't be any trouble. It keeps slipping. This isn't going to work. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, little faith. You're wearing Your pants. pants. Not yet. You think something's coming? Not sure. I feel something. Might as well take a look around first, just in case. Congratulations! You got both Rasa Angela and Joey past the door. I mean, Joey was considerably easier to get past the door, but okay. You're on your own now. Investigate and investigate the room by interacting and looking. And see what you can find. Well, I found a door. I can't believe I just picked that lock with a paperclip. Still, it's kind of cool. That's yeah, not bad. Hey, think we're done? Not yet, dear. <laughs> Let's poke around some more. No, I made it in. Now to leave and never come back. Relatives of yours, Joey? Huh? You know, the spooky sheet. I don't get it. Never mind. Yeah, There's hilarious. nothing on there but dust. I mean, that was actually a reasonable joke. For given the crap that is around here, but... I wonder how much of you like this costs. More Probably than you, make. worth millions. Even if it is haunted. I'm not opening the window. It's pouring outside. There's no reason not to open a window. If that were true, then England would never have any windows open, ever. Relatives of yours, Joey? Huh? No. Uh, you know. I don't... Never mind. Redoing the same things is not going to get us. Well, we know we're just going to have to look at the Looks desk. Looks like an right? old desk. Before we do that, let's hey, try Joey? talking to Joey. What could it possibly be? It could be that you are the only other person in here who I can talk to, and I fancy the conversation. Why are we here again? You feeling okay? You read the article, same as me. Read it again if you can't remember. It's dark in here. Yeah, I noticed. Nobody's around to pay the bills, I guess. It's freezing in here. Hey, you want some cheese with that wine? Yeah, yeah, I'm soaking wet. I have the right to complain. Do you have to do it so loudly? It's fine for you. You can't even feel the rain. Lucky for me, I'm dead then. But you're not dead dead. You're only mostly dead. I mean, this is interesting. That the last protagonist, whose name I've already forgotten. Lauren? Lorraine? Lauren. Lauren, that was it. Yes. Okay, I haven't quite forgotten it. Phew. Anyway, the last protagonist was wet. Yes. She got covered in uh, water and slime when the rusty pipes burst. And here we have a 
corresponding wetness, although this is from rain. I wonder if it means anything. I mean, the answer is probably no, but hey. I don't think there's parallels. a ghost here, Joey. Whatever made the renovation stop, it wasn't supernatural. I don't know, dear. I've developed a good sense for this sort of thing. There's something here. We just gotta look. Maybe it was the mob. I don't think there's a ghost here, Joey. Whatever made the... I d uh, I develop there's so well, maybe. That's all for now. Sure. Alright, let's look in the desk drawers. Unless I can look at these posters. No, desk drawers it is, then. All I could find was a newspaper clipping. Yay! Looks Hello. Looks like an obituary. There's Ghost. I have not played this one, no. As I have said before, I played the first one through its entirety before. I played a little bit of the second one, which we just completed. But I have not played any of the third, fourth, or fifth ones. So, we are in for me trying to try do exciting puzzles without trying to remember them and trying to figure them out. <laughs> so expect this to take twice as long as you would expect. Here we have a oh, conveniently cut off obituary. Alan Reichen of Reichen Publishing and Supply was found dead yesterday afternoon. Witnesses saw Reichen fall from a great height, landing on the sidewalk outside of his office building at 354 West 80th Street. Officers at the scene ruled the death a suicide. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate the offer. If I get really stuck, I will ask for amazing hints in chat. 354 West 80th Street? Why, that's the building that we're in. And probably the exact offices as well. Alan Reichen's obituary. We found an obituary for an Alan Reichen who committed suicide. His body was found outside this building. Ah, and that's this note up here. How oh, cool. And we're getting all of the words right now, as opposed to the last one where it was all cut off. What else have we got? Obituary, newspaper, paper clip. All right. What about this? I can't desk? move the desk. It's too heavy. Sorry, I wanted to look at the other desk. There's drawers. nothing else in the desk. All right. Well, you were right, Joey. Somebody hey, died Joey? here. Hey, Joey. This had better be important, sweetheart. I open my notebook and talk about Alan Rackham. A man obituary. jumped out of a window in this building. Suicide. It seems so. I wonder if it was one of these windows. I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if it was. I mean, yes, it's always the thing, isn't it? It's always easier to put things together when you're not in the story itself. Why did they not think that X and Y were together? Alright, thanks, Joey. That's all for now. Sure. This window is open. Or at least not covered. Is this I'm the window he fell I'm not the window. It's pouring outside. Uh, yeah. Is this not the window he the fell out of? here is incredible. Whoever owned this place must have done very well. I guess the weather is appropriate. If there was ever a perfect day for a ghost, this is it. Because it's a dark and stormy night. Alright, well... Perhaps the ghost is shy. Maybe we should hide under one of the sheets? Ah, is there a ghost hiding behind a sheet? Huh? What if I look outside all I'm of the windows? I'm not opening the window. No, I don't want I you. I wonder how much a view like this costs. Probably worth millions. Even if it is haunted. No, wait, you are I hope the rain in this stops game. before we're Aren't done. You? I'm not looking forward to going back outside. No, you are Rosa in this game. <laughs> it was the previous game in which you were Lauren, but yes. The previous game you were Rosa's aunt. I guess the weather is appropriate. If there was ever a perfect day for a ghost, this is it. I was hoping that somebody would be, you know... Like, stretched out on the floor, dead. Or a ghostly form hovering down the there. The view from here is incredible. No? Whoever owned this place must have done very well. As they well. jumped out the window. 
Alright, I've uncovered all the windows. Can I close the door now? I don't want to leave. Hey, think we're done? Not yet, dear. Let's, let's poke around some more. That's not what I wanted to do. Relatives of yours? Oh, no. Huh? You I don't... Never mind. Okay, let's There's uncover nothing it. on there. Right, I know. There's I want nothing to on look there. underneath it. No? Windows that we have uncovered. You can't cover them back up. Let's look at the obituary again. Uh, so they fell from a great height. Hang on the sidewalk. That's all we've got. Hey, Joey. Let's talk, Joey. Oh, ah, what Joey. What could it possibly be? Joey. You are a horrible, horrible person, Joey. You were just, you were hiding the ghost from me by standing in the exact spot that I didn't want you to stand in. Shakes head, sadly. Yeah, the... The square screen is not doing great for this right now. Um, this will have to do for today, unfortunately. For some reason, my OBS just doesn't want to pick up Black World Convergence very well. So yeah, unfortunately switching between the two has not been great for this. That's all, right, all for Joey. now. Sure. Now that you have moved and we can see the ghost, ghostly hand. Oh, Joey. Yeah? I think I found it. It. Well, will you look at that? What's he doing out there? There's only one way to find out. There you go. I am not climbing out onto the window ledge. What are you kidding? Leave the dangerous stuff to the dead guy. Yep. Switch on over to Joey, and then out the window. All right, let's see what this spook has to say. Yeah, I know the drill. I'll wait here. There we go, Smilex again. Why would they reference Batman in this? Is Batman here? He's a balding middle-aged guy. He looks kind of scared. He jumped to his death, or wasn't. Oh, Stay anyway. back. I mean it. I'll do it. You already did it. Hey, man. Do you want to come inside and get a drink instead? Smilex was the the name of the um, gas that the Joker uses. Uh, in the Tim Batman Batman films. All right, pal. Take a deep breath and relax. Relax? Relax? You think I can relax? If I could relax, you'd think I'd be out here? I don't know. Why don't you tell me about it? Don't come any closer. I swear, I'll jump. Jump? You're here to kill yourself? Maybe. I don't know. I can't think of anything else to do. Ghost on the ledge. There's a ghost on the ledge of the empty high-rise office. He's threatening to jump. Thank you. I mean, how exactly are you going to jump without legs? Legs are a pretty integral part to jumping. Don't do it. Don't come any closer, or I'll float. I'll float off this ledge so fast, you won't be able to stop me. <laughs> Indeed, float. <laughs> uh -huh. Same ideas. All right. Um, now let's talk about the weather. What, why? Why are you killing yourself? Is it because of the weather? The weather will get better. Hey, let's get out of this rain. What rain? rain? Um, this rain. Take a look around. It's pouring cats and dogs out here. I don't feel any rain. That's because. Ah, forget it. All right. Uh, let us. Hey, you're dead already, Alan Riken. Hey, are you Alan Riken? It's been a while, you might not remember. No, I don't remember at all. Although, I've had a lot on my mind. Yeah, that's why I'm here. I thought you could use someone to talk to. Did my wife put you up to this? Wife? No, no, just here for an old friend. Okay. I'm not sure you who would. you are, but you seem to know me. What do you want to talk about? 
Yes, on the ledge, definitely, Alan Ruggum. All right, um, let's talk about you, buddy. Listen, Alan, concentrate and take a look around. Doesn't anything seem strange, out of place, or off kilter? No. You don't remember falling? Falling? No, of course not. I came out here and stayed. I haven't jumped yet. Right, right, never mind. All right, then, if you didn't jump... Yeah, let's talk about the view. This is a beautiful view. How much did it cost? Nice view, huh? Is it? Yeah, I guess it is. Makes you feel like you're king of the world. I used to feel that way. Now, I'm not sure. Find the silver lining. All right. <laughs> hey, buddy. The silver lining of you jumping off the edge is at least... Uh, you'll provide something for the dogs to gnaw on? Or the rats? Or a spectacle for a newspaper? I don't know. There's some silver surely lining. Surely things can't be all that bad. Oh, surely they can. Do you know what it's like to lose everything? To have everything, everything. you loved and struggled for just vanish? I know something about that, yeah. Then you know what I'm going through. What happened? So what happened, Alan? What brought you to this? A fire destroyed my entire stock. The resulting lawsuits bankrupted me. That's no reason to kill yourself. You don't understand. I spent my life building this business. When it happened, I lost everything. Everyone deserted me. People I thought were friends. Even Sandra. Sandra? My wife. Well, I mean, didn't you insure your business? How do you get sued because there's a fire? Unless it was your fault directly. Did you perhaps smoke a cigarette and then throw it down onto a welcome mat without stamping it out? As we saw Lauren do in the previous game. Did the resulting fire burn down all of your stuff? No? Probably not your fault. Um... No. Where is your wife? No, she I left. was hoping there was going to be different even answers. Talk to me. I just get phone calls from her lawyer. I thought she'd stick by me. That's what you're supposed to do, right? Do we want him to jump? No, we want him inside, so he doesn't deserve to be abandoned. Hey, buddy, your wife's inside. Come on in. We'll talk. Hey, your wife's inside. Really? Yeah, she wants to talk to you. I don't believe you. Come on, now's your chance to win her back. Well, all right. Yay, we got you inside, and we only had to lie to there you. There she is. That's my wife? That's Sandra? Wife? Sure, don't you recognize her? It's hard to see clearly for some reason. Is that red hair? She dyed it. Go on, talk to her. Sandra, is that really you? Uh, sure. Sure, it's me. I'm Sandra. Oh. Why are you going here, on with Sandra? the with the voice? Well, there? uh That was very robotic. You all heard that, right? <laughs> it's hard to see clearly now. The rain has gone. Can they not see all obstacles in their path? We don't want you to jump, so we're not going to tell you it was right to leave you. Rosangela, you need to get so much better at improv and lying in order to uh, do this properly. You shouldn't be going, wife? Oh my goodness, what is this? Alright, um, hey, I still love you, but your business is destroyed. So you can understand how I would move on to a different person, right? I love you, Alan. That's why I'm here. You love me. Sure. After your pet lawyer took everything I had left. Uh, sure. You expect me to trust you? Sure. Sandra, watch very carefully. I'm going to jump, and it'll be your fault. Hey, wait. No, we're going to do this again. to be nice. Way to go. I've never been a wife before. You've been a human being, right? 
Alright, am I still Joey or did it switch me to Lord? Okay, back out we go. I'm gonna take another crack at him. We're gonna try okay. the business partner line you. this time. Hey! Hey, Alan! Oh, you again. Um, business. I mean, you spent your life building up the business, so... Hey, look. There's a business partner inside. Let's hook you up. Oh. Now that I'm thinking about this, perhaps this is the wrong way to go. You know, maybe we want you to jump? So that when you do... not die, you will realise, oh my god, I'm already dead. How can this be? So, maybe... Let's talk about your wife, and you deserve to be abandoned. And you're gonna jump over the edge. Let's try it. So your wife left you, huh? Yeah. Uh, figures. What? Look at yourself. Everyone knows that if a ship is sinking, you abandon it. I can't blame her for you leaving. You have a very wiggly tie that's, there, man. That's... Hmm. Completely true. Oh. Well, that was disappointing. Your failure so you as a businessman. your business into the ground. Well, yeah, I guess. And I thought you were a businessman. I mean, man. he had a fire. And that's not that. Businessman. Not anymore. You're not. No, I'm not. You're just a little man with a big office and a view he doesn't deserve. And you're way too old and tired to start over. Yeah. What's the point? Hmm. You know what? One second. We're gonna try. Ah. Nope. You can all see the behind the scenes working, so I can, you know, stretch it out slightly. Ah. Yeah. I mean, isn't that fun to see all the stuff in the background there? So slightly better. Ah. Uh, oh well. It's slightly bigger on the screen. That's about as good as I get. All right. The world's full of pretty broads, Alan. You shouldn't get all weepy over just one. Come on. Look at me. I'm pushing 50, overweight, and not to mention broke. What woman would want me? I'm going to set you up on a date. Look, there's a redhead inside who's waiting to talk to you. Hey, you like redheads? Huh? It's a simple question. Do you like redheads? Sure, I guess. Great, I've got a girl who's perfect for you. You do? Sure, she's inside. Wanna meet her? Is this a trick? Of course not. Okay. <laughs> your wife was inside. I insulted there you about your business. Go on, introduce and now yourself. there's a redhead inside. She's young for me, isn't she? Don't let that stop you. What are you doing? Shh! Go on, Tiger. She's waiting. So, you've been asking about me. Oh, um, sure. Really? Why? Well, uh... <laughs> You're an ugly loser who will die alone. And I like those kind of people. No? Um... I think you're a nice guy who got into a bad situation. That was just over your head. It wasn't your fault that the place burned down. It wasn't your fault that your lawyer ran off with all your money and didn't defend you in those lawsuits. It wasn't your fault that your wife decided she didn't love you anymore, even though it was your personality which drove her away. You seem like a nice guy. A nice guy. Sure. Let me tell you something, lady. Women don't like nice guys. What's your angle? You're not interested in me. Wait. I'm wasting my time. Thanks for trying, but this isn't going to work. All right. Hey, wait. I've shown He's you that life nice. is horrible. Did you just try to set me up? Just call me Matchmaker Malone. I'm not seducing a ghost. You don't have to go all the way. N-O spells no. All right, looks like we're going back out there. Oh, can you just grab his ghostly hand and pull him in? A spook on a window ledge. Now I've seen everything. Nope. All right. I'm gonna take another crack at him. Okay. Yeah, I'll Rosa's not doing very good there, was she? Never mind. Hey there, person. I've talked to you about hey, everything Alan. that was in the topic list. Oh. 
you again. Is there something new? No, we can still talk about women. You'll always be lonely. Ah, man, this is cruel, even for me. One more blow to his ego and he's bound to go over the edge. Do I really want to save him this way? What else have you got to do? All right. Hey, Alan, I'm going to take off. Don't uh, go anywhere. All right. That's my only option left. Maybe I just blew Man, it? Man, this is going to be awkward. Why is that? The guy's threatening to jump. Jump? Yeah. Well, how can he... Yeah, it's an odd one. Not so. to interrupt, darling, but let's talk. What is it, Joey? Um... Alright, let's just talk about Alan Reich. It's a long way down from here. If you want to jelly up the pavement, this is a good place to make sure it's done right. That's kind of tasteless. Just saying. That's a fun expression. I'm going to remember that one. To jelly up the pavement. Hey, why don't you try snooping around? You think there's a clue here? There's got to be something. Alright. No, are you telling me that because this is... If we knew more about had. the guy, we might be able to save him. Have you tried talking to him? It's like running into a brick wall. Well, if anyone's an expert on going through a brick wall, it's you. Huh? You know, being a ghost and all. God damn it, Joey. <laughs> oh, cute. You are stupid to not pick up on those jokes. I'm well, not stupid. You're unaware? just stand there? Do something productive, why don't you? I'm doing the best I can. What else can I do? Investigate. Move stuff around. Use those hands and arms. I gotta think of everything. All right. Well, let's get back to it. Yeah. All right, let's go to me, Rosa. I mean, I've looked at everything else here. Maybe there's something else in the desk drawers? There's nothing else in the desk. No. Maybe there's something on the desk? I can't move the desk. It's too heavy. There's nothing on there but dust. I know, I want to move it. There's nothing on there but dust. As much as I'd love to walk on the window ledge in the rain, I think I'll pass. I mean... There's nothing on... No, that's the one we've already seen. Looks like an old desk. I can't move the desk. It's too heavy. I want you to look on top of the desk. Nothing in these desk drawers, right? There's nothing else in the desk. Can we use paperclip on desk to find a hidden drawer that we, you know, we poke a, ho poke a hole in a paper clip like a knot? won't be much use there. No. It's a paper clip. Yeah, I know. Good for clipping papers as well as picking locks. No, Joey does not have an actual taste in humor. All right, let's combine the obituary with the paperclip with the newspaper. No, we can't clip them all together. No, I don't. Right, the campaign is jinxed before it even begun. Yeah, get that. Go away, newspaper. No, go away, newspaper. I, I don't want you to be... I don't know, actually. Can we use newspaper with ghostly hands? What good will a newspaper do there? I don't know. I mean, and also, here is an interesting fact, interesting for a given value of interesting, anyway, most suicides take their glasses off before they jump. I don't know why, perhaps they just don't want to damage their glasses, but, you know, that is a thing that happens. It's weird. We can all agree that it's weird, right? Okay, can we leave to go and research him somewhere else? Hey, think we're done? Not yet, dear. Let's poke around some more. Joey? Let's switch to Joey. Go out this one? No, let's... Uh, no, 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 no. That's as not, much as I think. That's why I press tab. 
as much as I, I oh, think Oh, okay, you don't like me pressing tab for some reason. All right. Not that one. Well, I want you to go out different windows so I can see something different. Not that one. Not that one. I can't... No. Alright then, Joey. Get him to jump to his death, then. I'm gonna then. take another crack at him. Okay, I'll wait here. I can't see anything else obvious in here. I've obviously destroyed my chances. Oh, it's snazzy you? as it would be, I can't just float off into the skyline. Besides, I've got a job to do. Man, what a view! I can even see the Hudson River from here. Snazzy as it would be. Okay, that's the same. Man, view. I can even. All right. Cozy and dry inside. <laughs> Lucky girl. All right then, man. Hey, Alan. Oh, you again. Time to jump to your death. You know, you're right. I can't think of any woman who would be attracted to you. You really think so? Sorry, pal, that's the way I see it. I always thought that, but to hear someone else say it, it hits very close to home. I don't know what to do anymore. Oh, I think you do. I do? You're looking right down at it. You're right. You're so right. It's over. It's... this is it. Huh? Oh... Yay! We convinced you. I've been here before. I'm sorry. But it was an accident. I wasn't really going to jump. I was going to go back in. It's too late now. I slipped and fell. I didn't want to jump. I remember. I remember falling. Wishing I had a second chance. But maybe... Maybe it's for the best. I didn't have much to live for anyway. I'm sorry, pal. So what now? I haunt this ledge forever? No, I'm here to help you move on. Just come inside with me. Are you ready, Alan? I guess. Let's get this over with. Just take a hold of this. All you right. can actually tell it's a tire this time, okay. rather than just Do a it. red blob. Oh, and you didn't hmm. go into the head. I can't help but think we could have handled that better. Nah. That was the best I could certainly do. Watch it eyes, games presents. <laughs> you don't even need to say anything. That's great. The Blackwell Convergence. By Dave Gilbert. I'm not going to read everything. You can all see the credits there on the screen. Just enjoy the jazzy music in the background. Animation has certainly improved since the first game. Backgrounds are nice, uh, clearer now, crisp, clear. And yeah, as I said, I did enjoy the sound effects when Joey was going through the door and doing ghostly things. That was fun. Not our best work, but we got him in the end. I'd call this day done, wouldn't you? Yeah, although. What? Isn't there something we're supposed to do tonight? I don't think so. 
I feel like we're forgetting Are something. Are you going to... I'd ignore that feeling if I were you. Niches for dinner? Beautiful Rosa, I have a nagging feeling I'm supposed to be doing something. I usually write stuff like this down. Where would I have written it? On your computer? On your board? Bulletin board? Oh my god, it's still an old style phone. I wonder how many people would have recognized that style of phone. A landline telephone. One of the few left in the city, I'm sure. Indeed. Since Joey blocks airborne signals, there's no point in getting a cell phone. Well, that's news. It's full of rejection letters from publishers. Best place for them. I don't know why I even bother keeping that. Remote controls don't work when Joey is around. <laughs> hey Joey, would you mind leaving the room so that I can change the channel? I don't know why I even bother remote- Yeah, alright. With Joey around, it's impossible to get a decent reception. Somehow, he blocks TV and radio signals. I got cable installed last month. Seems to do the trick, even though I rarely watch TV. Oh, there we go. Books. I sold all of my books to a used bookstore last month. Didn't take long for the shelf to fill up again. I sold all of them. Didn't okay, take same. I mean, you've put a uh, a uh, ghetto blaster in there as well. So I mean, it's not only books. And look, you had a dead plant the last time we were here, but now you've got a living one. How'd you manage that? When was the last time I watered that plant? I think it was a week ago. I'm surprised it's still alive. Hey, DI Detective. It's bear. Griff, the PI bear. PI bear. I've there had him go. since I was a kid. He's really starting to show his age. Hey, Griff, how are you today? Fluff all secure? Holding yourself together? Awesome. So, Griff, what's up? What exciting adventures are you having today? Are you feeling all right? I don't know. Let's ask Griff, shall we? So, Griff. How do I look to you? Thanks, Griff. That's very sweet of you. So what did he say? Teddy bears can't talk, Joey. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yay! Reverse humor. I think I've bothered Griff enough for one day. He's old. He needs his rest. Alright. Hey, it's the Auntie Lauren picture. Let's see how that looks in this version. I've had this picture same. since I was a baby. I don't want to ruin it. But I've had this pic. I look right, scared I out of my it. mind. Maybe I could sense Joey, even then. If so, I had a good reason to be scared. Auntie Lauren and me, on the Brooklyn Bridge. I don't remember anything about that day. I barely remember Auntie. All my life, I wanted to know more about her. I never imagined that she was a medium. We almost look like a real family with Joey standing there. The most dysfunctional family in the country, but still. I really don't think you're the most dysfunctional family in the country. Can we Griff? No, we can't do Griff. Alright. I think there are plenty of families, even without ghosts, who can give you a run for your money. Hey, it's a fake barn yeah, as it's well fake, as a. But you can hardly tell. I wouldn't have known unless it, until it said fake barn over the top of a ghost drum. It's an African ghost drum. It's supposed to keep ghosts away when you play it. It doesn't work. <laughs> it's fine where it is. I wanted you to play it. See what Joey said. Anything else over in this direction? No. Alright, that's the limit. This couch came with the apartment. I have no idea how old it is. I'm too edgy to sleep now. What am I forgetting? Forgetful Rosa. Where would I have written it down? Ooh, a wedding picture. Oh, that's your mom and dad. Yeah. My father died in a car crash soon after I was born. Looking at this picture is like looking at a stranger. My mother died in a car crash soon after I was born. She looks so young in this picture. More like a kid sister than a mother. Joey looks angry. Of course, that's nothing unusual. Auntie looks kind of happy. I wonder what she was smiling about. She was at a wedding. Her brother's wedding. But she wasn't dealing with ghosts. 
Even though I suppose she would have gone to a church, where I'm sure there are loads of ghosts from... Well, maybe not. Because we don't get ghosts from people who appear to have passed on peacefully. Perhaps. Alright. There's a calendar, there's a computer, there's a bulletin board. What do you have written on the bulletin board? Just a bunch of old articles I wrote for the Village Eye newspaper. Oh, I, don't I was know why wrong. I kept them. I hated working there. It's the Village Eye, not the New Yorker. Well. My computer. It's not the latest model, but it does the job. Alright, can we use it? Ooh, look at this fancy stuff. What have we got in our email? Please enter login. And we got B mail, Google, and something for Rosa from Ray Delbrooks. Books. Dear Rosani, uh, Rosangela Blackwell, thank you for submitting. We're off to the devil and the deacon. So, all right, unfortunately, we are not looking for new ghost stories at this time. We should best of luck in the future. Dear Miss Blackwell, I wanted to touch base and see if everything was alright with you and yours. My door is always open if you feel the need to chat. All the best, Dr. Donald DeWitt in Bellevue Hospital. Special offer for all your software and networking needs. Contact Tomo. How's it going? Please be aware that a stairway policy has been put in effect against you by a Kelly Hawthorne. <laughs> Should you harass her further, we will be forced to get the police involved. Oh, dang. All the actions of the past game are coming back to him, won't you? You gnarly. Hello, I don't know who you are, but. My daughter Susan insisted I contact you. She is home, resting appears to be doing fine. Please stay away from us. Susan lost her two best friends and nearly her life. Her own health is fragile. I'm pretty sure that Susan did not contact you to tell you... ...do that. Alright, Polar Bear Publishing. Received your submission of The Devil and the Deacon. Unfortunately, novels of this sort are not what we are looking for. If you have anything else to share, please contact us. Oh well. What have we got going on on Google? Let's look up Lauren Blackwell. Hey, we just walked the door of the East 23rd apartment street last night. Due to reports of loud screaming and crashing. What was thought to be a domestic issue was a single woman identified as Lauren Blackwell who had apparently undergone a psychotic episode. Hiding in the closet was a five year old girl identified as her niece. Blackwell was apprehended and admitted to Bellevue, where the niece is currently in foster care. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted to see, but we still don't know why she went mad, right? What can we find on Jack Blackwell? Nothing? Uh, hmm. Can we find anything on Joey Malone? Don't know oh. what else I expected to find. Be stuff on there from in the past. Alright, well, let's look at Susan Lee and see if there's anything. Nope. Alright, and last but not least, let's search for Dave Gilbert, president of the jet setting millionaire Playboys of New York Club. Of course he is. Alright, and what does Rosa have? Welcome to rosablackwell.com. This page is under construction. <laughs> There's the bear in the background. Awesome. Um, look to email, we looked at... Well, yeah, we looked at search, so what's browser? Same thing. Alright. Uh, oh, there we go. There's the clues. Let's look at the calendar and see if that is where we have wrote notes about what we are doing on a specific day on a calendar would have thought that. 7 p.m. The Park Gallery with Nishanti. Oh, crap. What time is it? 7.15? Damn it! She's going to kill me! What's your problem? The gallery opening, don't you remember? She invited us to go. Us? All right, me. But you're still coming. You really want to go to some stupid gallery? We're going. I'm not flicking out on her again. It's not nice. Fine. You're right, Whatever. Not. Do what you like. It's not like I have a choice. I'm supposed to meet Shanti at the Park Gallery. I have to find the address. I'm already late. Alright. To the computer. To the search bar. To find Park Gallery. 
Here we go. The Park Gallery. It's on 18th Street by 10th Avenue. Grand. Uh, let's go and get this over with. I've got the address. I better get over there before Shanti kills me. Grand opening. Park Gallery. The Park Gallery aims to enrich the Chelsea Arts community by exhibiting local artists, both new and old. The Park Gallery is excited to have a first public opening. Claude Urdain, a neighborhood street artist, will be making his debut. Park Gallery is curated by Juicy Park. Oh, so it's not a park gallery as in it's near the park. It's a park gallery as in it's run by somebody called Park. Alright, off we head. You ready to go? Hold your horses, will you? I'm coming. That's not what hold your horses mean. Unknown door. Trash room. There's nothing in here but trash bags. I know, but I wanted to look at them. You have gone remarkably... I have no idea who lives there. Lo-fi, for some reason. Nishanti isn't home. She's probably at the gallery. Alright, well, to the elevator then. Ooh, exciting new interface. What? Oh, glasses and maybe a spooky thing? Right. And now a, a framed picture. Wow, I feel cultured already. Shh! Hi, are you here for the opening? Yes. Great! But I'm sorry, I think you came on the wrong night. The public opening's in two days. Tonight's a private showing. Oh no, I'm with someone. Nishanti Sharma? Is she here? Really? Let me check. Nish? Nish? Yes? Someone here says she knows you. That must be Rosa. It's alright, Josie. She's with me. Okay, thanks. Sorry about that. You know how it is. Sure. Anyway, I'm Josie Park, and this is the Park Gallery. Man, she's clever. I bet she came up with that all by herself. Go on in. Have fun. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Go on in? I'm already in, aren't I? Am I not? Well, let's look at these paintings. Really bold lines. This would look great in my bedroom. Yeah, now look at the price. No? Alright. From a certain angle, it looks like a street corner. From a certain angle, it looks like a street corner. Oh, cool. They're not reusing lines on each different painting and then just circling through actual individual things for These individual paintings, paintings. Look like part of a set it looks pretty abstract oh no we can't pick up any wine that's disastrous all right well let's continue looking around at the paintings man sculpture there's a sculpture there at the back is there it looks okay. impressionistic whatever it is These look like impressionist skyscrapers. Not bad, actually. Ooh. Looks like it leads to a fire escape. Could I perhaps purchase this fire escape painting that you have done here? No? This painting is called The Dark Lady. Hangs head, sadly. All right, so we have a thing that has a name. And it's called the Dark Lady. Could it possibly be some part of what is going on here? Alright. Well, let's talk to Nisha. Nishanti. That's Nishanti Sharma. My next door neighbor. I'm going to talk to you first of all and see how Hi, you're doing. Hi, sorry I'm late. Don't worry about it. How'd you find the place? The internet. Oh, of course. I should really try using it one of these days. Yeah, apologize again before we go on and ask about the friends. I know I've been kind of flaky lately. Oh, don't worry about that. No need to stress on my account. Besides, you look exhausted. Are you all right? I'm fine. All right, if you say so. And who's your friend? So who's your friend? I'm sorry, that was rude of me. This is Monique Stallman. Monique, this is my neighbor, Rosa. The one I was telling you about. You were talking about me? She was just telling me that she had a famous writer for a neighbor. <laughs> famous? I'm hardly famous. Uh, I haven't had anything published yet. 
She writes ghost stories, Monique. Nish, please. Go on, tell her. It's hardly the time or place. Oh, are you haunted by a ghost, which might possibly need solving by me and Joey? Dun dun dun. What's wrong? Oh, Monique here has a fascinating ghost story to tell. I wouldn't call it fascinating, per se. Please, it sends shivers down my spine. Wait until you hear it. It's about Frank Lyons. Frank Lyons? The actor? Nish, please. Sorry, Monique, just getting carried away. Oh. Well, no, let's continue. Let's ask about I the story. I would like to hear the story, actually. See? I told you. Always on the lookout uh, for new material. Oh, but let's not talk about it here. Here's my card. If you want to talk, drop by my office tomorrow. We can discuss it in private. Thanks. I'll drop by. Thanks, Alma. Shanti's friend Monique said she had a ghost story. And a visit her in the morning. Thank you for the invite. Oh, we're talking to Nishanti, not Stolman. Yes. Thanks for inviting me. I'm glad you could make it. For a while, I was worried that I'd be here all by myself. But Monique was interesting company. Oh, so is she not your friend? She's just somebody you met here at the gallery. How are you here at this private showing then? Do you know Park? So, how are you doing? Oh, you know, same old thing. Practicing my flute, walking the dog, trying to get out more. Although this weather isn't making it easy. I think I'll browse around. Sure, Rosa. Enjoy yourself. Where, where is Dog? This dog was an integral part of the mystery solving last time. She's in deep conversation with Nishanti. Can I talk Hi, to Nishanti. you directly? No. Hello, Rosa. I think I'll browse around. Sure, That's not Rosa. who I clicked on. Enjoy okay. yourself. You are probably the artist who was mentioned in the article. You must be an artist. You're Josie that's Josie Park. Park, the gallery's curator. She seems nice enough. All right, let's ask about stuff. Hi there, Josie Park, was it? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> and you are? Rosangela Blackwell. Rosangela, what a neat name. Anyway, nice to meet you. So yeah, let's compliment the gallery, first of all. It's a nice place. You've got some uh, interesting variation in the paintings that you've got on the walls here. And, uh, bold styles. Great choice. You have some interesting pieces here. Yeah, interesting's the word. You like them? Sure. Did you hear that, Claude? Yeah. He's convinced that nobody will understand his work. She said she liked them, not that she understood them. Oh, you. Pay no attention. Indeed, it's possible. I won't understand what you're going for here, but I can give it a wild stab in the dark. And let's just say hello to the artist while we're here. Hey. So, you're the artist? Yeah. This is Claude Erden, my discovery. Some discovery? I've been painting on your street corner for eight years. Yes, and I've seen you improve. When I got the funding to open this gallery, I knew Claude would be my breakout artist. We're having the public opening in two days. You should come. Don't count on it, lady. I'm here for the private opening. Why, why do I need to come for the public one as well? All right, well, whatever. Hey, what do you think of Nishanti? So, you're a friend of Nishanti's? Oh, Nish? Isn't she marvelous? She comes to all the art events. That's how I know her. Really? Oh, okay. And where did you get the funding from? Is it a New York grant for patrons of the arts or something? So, are you Josie Park, as in the Park Gallery? Yep. This place is mine. We just opened. Well, technically we open in two days, but it's my gallery. If I say we're open, then poof, <laughs> we're open. Ooh, watch out. She's so sharp, she might cut herself. Well, I'm going to look around some more. Sure, have fun. Oh, I could have looked around the gallery as Joey as well, can't I? Yes, because I can swap people. I'm sure Joey will have different ideas on the paintings, particularly the Dark Woman. Uh, can I have an individual conversation with you? Hi again. Hi, Rosangela. Well, I'm going to look around oh, some more. All right. Sure, have fun. I'm not going to talk to Joey in a public place, so let's switch over. Next card. Let's have a look at that first of all. I know that area. 
That's Astor Place. Ooh. Cubestar Films. Does Monica have a real ghost story? Oh, we're just chasing shadows. Either way, can't hurt to check. Monique Stolman, executive producer. 247 Lafayette Street. Monique at cubestar.com. Alright, Joey. Let's see what you have to say about these paintings. I know what I like, and I don't like this. <laughs> do people really pay to look at this stuff? Right, so do you do have... people re All right, individual ones for these paintings they as call well. this art these days? What an eyesore. No, not Josie Park. Sculpture. I don't know much about art, but I know this is crap. Can't say it does anything for me. Looks like it leads to a fire escape. Oh, well. They're just making small talk, nothing worth listening to. Blah, 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 she blah, looks blah. as bored as I am. They're just making small talk, nothing worth listening to. All right, it's time to look at this portrait. This painting looks familiar. Yeah, I wonder I can't if it's put the my on the why. Countess. What do you want me to do? Scare it? Yes. This painting looks familiar. I can't put my finger on why. All right, there's nothing else meant to happen here tonight then. Let's turn in for the evening, then. Thanks very much. Rosa, you're not leaving now, are you? Um... Apparently not. Or maybe I am? We were just about to get started on the wine. Why don't you join us? Come on, come on, let's get out of here. Well, please let's stay. Let's have the wine. We hardly see enough of each other as it is. Stay. Okay. Wonderful. Fantastic. Come on, Josie. There's five of us here. That means it's a party. Pour more of that wine and let's get it started. <sighs> Woo! What a night. Yep, oh, there was the word head. Countess. What happened? How did I get here? All right, are we meant to try and move through the portal? That's how I get out of here. All right, let's leave. Is this how your generation treats the duty? What? Who are you? Someone who has been here far too long. Oh. I don't understand. It does not matter. We will meet again soon. Continue your sleep. You will forget me when you wake up. Your time will come soon. Ooh. I just pray that you are ready. Apocalyptic well, portents. look who's up. Ugh. Enjoyed the free booze a little too much, huh? Blech. Clear the cobwebs, kid. We've got work to do. Yeah, I know. Do we, Let's talk to Griff today. I think I've bothered Griff enough for one day. He's old. He needs his rest. But it's not one day. It's the second day. Alright, well. Let's have a look at Cubestar, first of all, and see if there's anything exciting on the computer. Let's find out some stuff before we go and talk to... What's our face? Monique. Cube star. Cube star films. Founded in 1997, Cube star has made a name for itself as one of the top independent film studios in New York City. Now, best known for documentaries and low-budget dramas. Well, I mean that explains why. Uh, she was there at an art gallery opening for the independent artist type stuff. And Monique Stahl. Monica? Monique, well. Oh. Uh, 
this time without the star. Nope. Anything in my email? Nope. And I will just double check that I was spelling that right. Yeah, it was. Okay. So I guess we're off there tomorrow. Or you coming? Now it's tomorrow. It's about time. Let's scram. That apartment belongs to Nishanti Sharma. She's nice, I guess. I have no idea who lives there. Unknown door. Let's go see Nishanti before we head out. Nishanti isn't home. Where is she? Oh, a cube with a star on it. What an innovative logo. Come in. Hi, Monique. Oh, hello. You're Nishanti's friend, aren't you? The writer? Yeah, that's me. I almost didn't recognize you standing upright. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't usually drink that much. Well, we all make mistakes. Let's have a look around. Oh, there's a cat! Looks like some old movie posters. Those account books go back at least two years. How? I can't imagine being that organized. How can you tell from glance? Nice view from up here. Oh, animals can sense Joey's presence. So yeah. This poster is for a film called Water Under the Bridge. It stars Frank Lyons. This poster is for a film that stars... No, that's a different Fra poster to that one. Alright. Monique looks pretty cool and confident behind that desk. Alright, can I see the cat? No, nice it's not gonna... Do it when the cat is peering? Nice view. No. Alright, no timing puzzle there. I'm now Joey, so let's look There's at things. some old posters. Just some books for the number crunchers. I don't think we need to bother with it. Hmm, I have to say the view is quite nice from up here. Yeah, the view is okay. Although, I prefer the view from this angle. Alright, okay, you got a thing for... No, no, for some Water reason. under the bridge. What a boring title. Can you I'm not floating something? out there unless I've got a reason. There's a cat. Besides, the view is much better in here. There's a cat outside. There is definitely a reason to go outside. You could have go outside. Well, I suppose you can't pet the cat, so all right, maybe not. All right, let's talk to Monique. How's... Yeah, ask about the cat. First thing, ask about the cat. I saw a cat on the window ledge outside. Oh, her? The company adopted her. She belonged to Frank. Belonged to Frank? Is Frank dead? I should have looked up Frank Lance before I came over here. Oh well. Uh, how's your so, job? So, what do you do here at CubeStar? I'm the executive producer. In a nutshell, I make sure everything gets done, on time, and under budget. She whips everyone into shape, huh? I like her. I mean, I would say put it back in your pants, but... I'm not sure you have any, or that you have any. Either way. So, you have a ghost story, is that right? Oh, yes. It's really nothing. Kind of embarrassing, really. Nishanti said it had to do with Frank Lyons. Yes, it was all over the news. You know what happened. No, I don't know the story. I, I missed it, sorry. I forgot to look it up before I came over. I know he died, but that's all I know. Yes, he's dead. I saw him die. He died while filming his last scene. It was tragic and all, but in the end, we had to finish the movie. We found a lookalike <laughs> to complete the scene and then released it. That should have been the end of it. But the film was a smash hit. Really? It was that good? No, it wasn't. People only turned up because a man's death was attached to it. For years, we tried to create a moneymaker. And this is how we did it. Be careful what you wish for, Rosangela. That's all I'll say. So what happened next? Next? I hear him. You hear him? Over in Central Park, near the Gothic Bridge. It's where he died. I pass the area every morning when I go jogging. I can swear I hear him. 
calling me. Really? It's like he's... Well, it's probably just my own guilty conscience. We profited from his death. There's no denying that. But what could we do? Give the money to charity? We have investors to pay back. Anyway, that's my ghost story. Take it or leave it. I say we take it. We haven't been to the park in a while. Today isn't the nicest day for a stroll in the park, but it's not exactly a social call. Is there a social call that you can make in a park? You got anything else Thanks to tell me? Thanks for the chat, Monique. Sure. Alright, let's, uh, let's go for a wander down to... Down to the park. Well, actually... Let's go home, first of all. And look and see if there's any more information on Frank Lines. Frank... Lines. An obituary. Frank Lyons, 26. Wow, okay. Suffered a fatal heart attack while on location at the Gothic Bridge in Central Park yesterday evening. He is best known for his many roles in several independently produced films. Lyons leaves behind no family. His last film, Water Under the Bridge, Cubestar Films, is due to be released this spring. Okay, can we look at Water Under the Bridge? Not if I can't spell it. Water under the red. Oh no! You can't type any more. Oh, but it still found it for you. Okay, water under the bridge. A love drama starring the late Frank Lyons and Rebecca Chen. When dock worker Zach Lyons loses his girlfriend Yvonne Chen to a wealthy rival, Zach goes to extreme lengths to win her back. The film is a worthy attempt by Cubestar Films, but it is unfortunate. But it unfortunately cannot escape the by the numbers plot or the ultimate. Oh, me word. Or the unfortunate tragedy of Lion's rule of death. So let's look up Rebecca Chen then. I can smell things. Or type. Water under the bridge. Rebecca Chen. Let me just double check I didn't type it incorrectly last time. No? Okay. Nothing on her then. Well, let's go encounter our first, second ghost, I guess. You ready to Seeing go? Seeing as Joey is already here, our horses, third ghost. Yeah, I'm coming. We also had the the dead guy, <laughs> uh, Alec Reckon. Alec, whatever his name was. Oh hey, you're right there already. That was wasn't aimless. It was aimed at me. My I think God. that's Frank Lyons. He looks different in person. Of course, he isn't exactly a person anymore. Damn it, where is that woman? Come on, man. Come on, Rosa. The dead are still people too, right? Last shoot of the film, then we're done. You've already done it. Do I need to play the film? Have I got anything else? No, just those two now. Hey, Joey. Young guy, you maybe mid-twenties? It's hard to tell. He looks like he's concentrating hard. Damn it, where is that woman? Alright, well, let's talk as Rosa. Hey, um, buddy. Hi there. I knew you'd come. Do you think you're. Are you playing out the last part of your role? How did you know I'd be here? How did you know I'd come? I know you, Vaughn. Perhaps too well. Hey, yeah. He's playing out the last scene of his film. Could I ask you a couple of questions? Huh? Oh, come on. That's not even close. Let's try it again. <clears throat> I knew you'd come. 
How did you, did you know, know I'd come? come? I know you, Vaughn. Perhaps too well. Perhaps I need to see... the... the film in order to progress this? Oh. Yvonne? Who's Yvonne? Um, you are? <sighs> okay, no problem. We'll just start over. <clears throat> I knew you'd come. How, How did, did you, you know, know I'd come? come? I know you, Yvonne. Perhaps too well. Uh, I guess that's the point. Look, I just want to talk to you. Are you sure that's right? Yes, just for a few minutes. No, I don't think that's right. Let's try again, shall we? What are you talking about? <clears throat> I knew you'd come. But we know what's going on. Never mind. Never mind. We'll talk later. Yeah, I think you need to practice some more. Hey, Joey. You gotta talk to him. I knew See if you'd you'd any better. No. I knew you'd come. Hello? Oh, hey. You with the company? Company? Oh, I guess you're not. They told me to meet him out here. I guess they're late. Yeah, Frank Lyons, right? Are you Frank Lyons? You recognize me? Sure. That's... Thank you. That means a lot. Hey, I live to please. Sort of. <laughs> Frank Lyons heart attack. Well, it looks like Monique's lead played off. She told us that Frank Lyons died of a heart attack while filming his last scene. How are you doing? Well, what you doing? So, Frank, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, just waiting to finish up. Just one scene to go and I'm done. Finally. Done is the word, yeah. Hmm? Never mind. So... Could you tell me the last thing you remember? That's what do you not mean? exactly what I mean. I've just been hanging okay. out here. And before that? I was... Hmm... Funny thing. Yes? The Minetta. The Minetta? Yeah. I was there. I'm always there. Minetta. I see it's mentioned a place called The Minetta. Alright. So, we're on a movie set? Yep. The film is called Water Under the Bridge. I mean, we're not. Really? Yeah. Actually, I'm probably not supposed to tell you that, but we're hardly Paramount Pictures or anything. Just don't tell anyone. You're okay? on location. Oh, lips are sealed. You're not on the set. Alright, qualify a statement. Are you sure this is a movie set? Yeah. Where are all the lights, equipment, cameras? You know, I'm not sure. They should be on their way. I don't know what's keeping them. Let's try and tell you you're Frank, dead. you seem like a swell guy, but I have to be honest. You're dead. What? I mean it. You've been haunting this area for months now. Ha. Very funny. My career might have one foot in the grave, but it's not dead yet. My ship will come in. You'll see. Alright. Um, tell me about the Minetta. Where is it? Just what is the Minetta? Minetta? Yeah, what is it? The Minetta. I'm famous there, you know. You can always find a willing ear there, and some donations for the fund. The fund? What fund? Yes, they are very kind. Why are you talking like that? I was gonna talking say. Talking like what? You're weird. Like you... Oh, never mind. Something's going on there. Alright, uh, tell me about Monique. What can you tell me about Monique? Miss Stallman? She's a good lady. I just wonder where she is. You expecting her? Yeah. We can't start without the executive producer, can we? I could swear I saw her run by a couple of times, but why wouldn't she stop? Hey, have you ever been to the park gallery down in Soho? No, sorry. I've never heard of it. Oh well. Uh, so tell me about yourself, Frank. Oh, I'm just an actor. I just walk and talk the way they want me to. Oh, come on. There's got to be more to you than that. I don't really need anything else. I'm not in the magazines, but I think I'm okay with that. I just want to finish what I start. Alright, so... Thanks for all of those clues. Well, see you around. Sure. We need to find a copy of the script so that we can run lines with you. That sounds fun. Let's go back to Monique. And see if we can get a copy of the script for the last film. Come in. Oh, hello. Again? Yeah, hello. 
Uh. Have you ever heard of a place called the Mineta? Sorry, no. I was gonna look that up anyway, but you know. Tell me about Frank. Frank? He was a solid actor. Not A-list material, but dependable. He could read his lines and hit his marks and look good on camera. He didn't demand much and he was easy to work with. We set him up with an apartment nearby. That was all he needed. That reminds me we still haven't moved his stuff out. I'll have to get on that. Frank's apartment. Frank stole and told us that they gave Frank a place to live. And his stuff is still there. Well, good. That is... Where is that, please? We really rented him an apartment. That's very generous. Not really. The company owns it and it's rent controlled. We couldn't pay him much, so it was the least we could do. You don't suppose it was the mysterious unknown door back in Rose's building, Can you, you give me the address of Frank's old apartment? Why? I just wanted to look around. I ask again. Why? Research. You're very dedicated, but I'm afraid the answer is no. I'd like to give Frank some bit of dignity. Hmm. Alright. That means we will need to look at the Thanks accounts. Thanks for the chat, Monique. Sure. All right, Joey. What blow am I supposed down. to do? Sing to it? No, blow them down. Just some books for the number crunchers. That's what I don't we think want, we though. need to bother with it. Yes, we do. I desperately want you to. What am I supposed to do? Blow them down. Okay. Ah, the quivering of her back means that I did good. Do it again. Ah, the quivering of her... I mean, I want her to get up and go to the window while I steal I these accounts. I can't think what we'd need them for. To find the apartment. Please don't close the window. There's a reason why it's open. What's the reason? Is it to let the cat back in? What do you think of Josie Park's gallery? Ugh, dreadful. Josie's a sweet woman, but her taste in art is somewhat questionable. Although it didn't drive me to drink, like some people. Oh, come on. I don't like you. Are you sure you can't give me Frank's address? It would really help my research if I could look around. Everything you need to know about Frank you can find on the internet. I don't feel comfortable having a stranger look through his things. Can I just ask for Thanks a for copy the of the sure. script? I can't combine notes like in the last one, can I? Nope. No combining of clues. Hmm. Oh, let's go back to the gallery just now and, you know, say, whoops, sorry about that. Oh, hi again. Hi. You got home okay? I think Nish had to half carry you out of here. Was I that bad? Well, originally I thought I had bought too much wine. It turns out I didn't have to worry, so thanks. <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> oh no my problem. god. Anyway, I have to go over some stuff. Feel free to look around. Alright, let's look at that portrait again. This painting is called The Dark Lady. Now let's switch to Joey and look at it again. Just this see. painting looks familiar. I can't put my finger on why. Oh, come back here, Josie. Hi, Josie. Yes? Hi, Josie. Can I talk to you for a bit more? I'm kind of swamped, but okay. I don't suppose you know anything. Well, first of all, how you so doing? So, how's everything going? You're doing, oh, you're you know. Busy, trying busy, to prep. busy. This is my first public opening. I want it to be just right. So, how, how much, much are they selling for? Cost? Yeah, exactly. Oh, I can't reveal the prices until the public exhibit. But if you're interested in any of them, let me know. I'll discount it for you. Oh, no thanks. I'm not really in the market for any art right now. Translation, she can't afford it. Oh, all right. But if you change your mind, let me know. I mean, I'm mildly interested in the one which you said had bold lines and looked good in my bedroom, but, you know, discount it for me. Tell me about Claude. Oh, I found him on the street. Literally. He made his living painting street scenes and selling them to tourists. 
but he's too much of a genius for that. Don't you think so? Oh yes, definitely. See, I Getting knew he was the right lying. choice for this gallery. Oh yeah, I don't suppose you ever uh, had Frank Lyons come around here. Do you know anything about Frank Lyons' death? Spooky, <laughs> isn't it? Imagine someone just dying of a heart attack right in front of you. Poor Monique must have been traumatized. Yeah, traumatized all the way to the bank. I, I've got to remember that. I will just randomly go up to somebody I half know and just ask about random people dying of heart attacks. Have you heard of the Minette? Have you ever heard of a place called the Minetta? No. Nope. Oh, Minetta. Sorry. Sorry. Do you know where Frank lived? Do you know where Frank Lyons lived by any chance? I don't know. L.A.? That's where all the Hollywood people live. Frank was hardly Hollywood. How well do you know Monique Stallman? She's a nice lady, although I don't think she'll be back. She didn't seem to really appreciate Claude's work. I'm sorry. No worries. It's not everybody's cup of tea. Yeah, I was say, that is a shame. So... How long have you been in business? Not long. Just a few days now. This loft opened up and I just nabbed it. Real estate in this neighborhood is harder to get than you'd think. No. I wouldn't think that. All thanks, right, thanks Josie. Very much. I'd better get going. Sure, Rosangela. I'll see you at the opening tomorrow. Back down the stairs. Back home. Oh, I had to wait for Joey to come over. All right. I wonder how they're tethered. Can... Can Rosangela go further than Joey? Will she pull him along behind, or will they both stop dead? All right. Well, let's look for Frank Lyons again. Frank Lyons apartment. Oh, well, there's a lot of spaces there. Let's just look at Frank Lyons. Suffered a fatal heart attack. Blah blah blah. Keeps our films. Frank Lyons apartment. No, nope, didn't think so. All right, let's look up the min. Etta. There we go. Minetta Tavern. Minetta is a tavern in the East Village. It's not too far away from my place. West Village Pubs. Minetta Tavern, serving the West Village for over 60 years. 58 McDonald Street. No, McDougal Street. Well, before we sent Rosa out to the pub, after having gone drunk on wine the previous night, I think now is the time to call it for the day. Let's actually save this before I start doing stuff in case I forget. No, not auto save. I'm gonna call it pub. I know a tavern and a pub aren't quite the same thing, but still. So, as Joey floats there, Rose Angela stares at the dead computer screen, much like I am. Let us say, thank you all so very much for being here. I do appreciate each and every one of you who is watching this, whether live and in person, or later on on the VOD. I do appreciate you taking some of your limited time to be here with me. Um, I am uncertain as to whether I will stream or not tomorrow. I am investigating possibilities there, because there is a movement going on at the moment called A Day Off Twitch which is to do with the how Twitch is handling, or rather not handling, the um, the the hate raids, etc. that are going on here. And, you know, I don't think I will be targeted in any way, shape or form, but, uh, I mean, <laughs> but I would like to show my support at least for that. But I do not know, there is debates from both sides, or sorry, from the one side that doing the day off Twitch is not going to have a big enough impact and that something else should be done instead. So I am looking at the possibilities whether I will be participating in that or not. Still, all the same, uh, we'll be back with more Blackwell on Sunday. Uh, we'll be picking up with Ori and the Blind Forest, Definitive Edition, when I come back either Wednesday or Thursday. 
But until then, I have been Richard. And you're about to see the background. And this has been LMTD TM FFR. Or, stay with me now. Limited time offer. No vowels. And you all, you all have fun.